What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Rice Rockets here. Today, I am in Greenport, Long Island. And that is about as far out on the North Fork as you can go. There's another like seven miles or so, but it's mostly residential. Um, this particular strip or this town, I guess, is very much a summer town. So during the summer, it comes alive and there's a lot of people that come out here, rent hotels, just to kind of distance them, themselves from the city. You also can get to the South Fork from here. You can get to Fire Island. You can get to a number of places from this location because there is a ferry that, or many ferries that leave from here. So it is kind of like a hub. Um, but this is like the perfect time to come out here because it's not yet packed with people. Um, but it's warm enough to be outside and restaurants and shops are opening up. So you have access to all of that as well, just without the mass crowds. So I love riding out here. I've come here during the winter, during the summer, during right now, the in-between. Um, and today I wanted to just get on the bike, get on the highway. It's about a hundred miles out here. So, you know, at around 90, I get a little fatigued, but um, that's what this is for. I stopped to get something to, to eat and drink and reset. Uh, and then I just kind of want to loop around the roads out here. So uh, that's the, I don't know, that's the agenda for today. <laughs> Uh, maybe try to get some cool shots of the town. It's really pretty today. Everything seems very vibrant. Everything seems HD today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the video, guys. I'm going to finish this up. We're going to jump on the bike and, uh, you know, get rolling. Last time I was out here, this place was like happening. Like all, all the families were here. This whole square fills up. It's so pretty. Ah. It's a bit odd with no music. Very patriotic scene right there. <laughs> Park down this way, I hope my bike is still there. I'm still, I have like my, uh, <laughs> I have my city instincts wherever I go. Even in this very nice town, I'm like, oh God, I did my bike get lifted. <laughs> Almost wanna like bring my chain and lock it out here. That would be ridiculous. I also like a town like this, I guess like, this is more common than, like growing up in this area would be more common than uh, growing up in the city. To me, obviously growing up in the city is normal. And this is like what you see in the movies, right? There's like a small town and like you get together with your friends in the town. I have all these fantasies of like what it's like to grow up somewhere else. Because my experience was so atypical. Like if you think about it, it's really weird to grow up like in the middle of the city. It's like... It's a little strange, you know, um, to be in that like concrete box. I'm not complaining, it had its like unique things as well, but I just like, this seems very like picturesque. This seems very uh, movie-like to me. It's like growing up out here, getting your first car when you're 18, right? Like, I don't know anything about that. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I see, I see like Stranger Things, the, the, the show Stranger Things, that childhood, Mine is the aliens and like the supernatural stuff, but that is like what I think of as like a quintessential childhood experience of like playing in the basement, playing card games and like getting on your bikes, riding to the general store. Things that like I don't know anything about because for us it was like, it was like skateboard to the bodega, which is like our version of that. So that's a little, it's different I guess, but I've always kind of longed for this type of experience, which is strange. Um, I guess grass is always greener, right? There she is. Bumblebee herself. Still here. Hey. Hello, good, how are you? I would like to have a bike that's a little more comfortable to ride. This bike obviously is so much fun and I love it, but something just 
to chill on would be really cool. And that's such like a luxury request too. It's like not realistic for, for me or anybody to have two bikes. But uh, that's the goal in life, guys. <laughs> for me, I'm like, if I could have a bike for out here, like a cruiser would be perfect out here, you know? Or like even the Triumph, um, the Speedmaster I'm a huge fan of. Ugh. So uh, let's go, I'm gonna go down this way and then back and out to the tip of Long Island just because I want you to see the town. The town is really, it's cute. It is a cute town. And also at some point I need gas, but I guess I'll, I'll do that on the way back. Let me get That was weird. Yeah, so this is the uh, the main strip. The main strip of the town. We were just over there. theater and the train station over here to the left that's where I'm gonna go very summery the first time I came out here was like a couple years ago this used to be like a roller rink was awesome and I totally missed out on that but uh, I took the bus to over here and that's the ferry to all the places I was telling you bunch of ships I really like it out here, it's so peaceful. Go back through the town now. Very calm, very different. They got good hot sauce there. I bought a hot sauce last night. They got like, a, it's a cool store. When they open up, I'll come on back. Oh, this is cool. Is this a restaurant over here? 
<laughs> yeah, I think this is a restaurant. This is awesome. That's got to be the Hamptons. I'll look at a map. St. Preston and Sun. This building is so cool looking. <laughs> this right here, this is a scene. This is this is a postcard right here. And at one time in history, this was like not modern at all. Like this was, I guess, where you you dock and probably get something to eat over here before taking off again. What a cool spot. Where's the hot sauce place? Pass it. Right there. Greenport Fire. This house is amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like so starstruck. I, I bet the rest of the people who don't live in New York, <laughs> you're all thinking like, well, this is kind of normal. Uh, it's pretty breathtaking to me. A lot of vineyards out here. Certainly wine country. A little further back is where all the vineyards are though. Uh, at this point there's a few but it kind of thins out. Wow, mansion. Why? <laughs> Snap-on, the snap-on truck.
that far. This is where it gets absolutely beautiful. There's a beach on the left though. I want to pull over. Somewhere, I think. Wow! <laughs> Absolutely crazy, so much water. Oh hi, what's up? Oh my god! Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh man, that's pretty. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over there. This guy has seagulls on his car, just staring straight at him. That's so funny. <sighs> oh, that's pretty. Imagine living right there. That's crazy. Oh, that's so cool. My dog will be so happy. Oh, I'd love to get in the water. It's probably freezing. I mean, it's cold enough outside. Oh, having access to this every day, man, I would be so much less stressed. This is beautiful out here. It makes you think, too, like, whenever I get around nature or, like, not city, right, it makes you realize that, like, Money and society and all that bullshit is all just a construct. Because this shit exists regardless of how much money somebody has, right? It's so crazy. So crazy. Think about that all the time. Oh, there's my bike. Bike looks good from this angle. I think it lost my face. There we go. Gorgeous, guys. This is what I come out here for. <laughs> Seriously. I wish a seagull, though. Look at this. Hold on. Zoom in on my face camera. The, <laughs> this guy has seagulls all over his car. It's hilarious. I'm so jealous. Oh, that bike looks so good. Oh. Solid ground. <laughs> so my mileage, I guess I'm riding differently too. My mileage is a lot better. I'm at 101 miles and a half take. That's great.
in now. Let's check out the Fisher Fisher area. Fish area. <laughs> Where all the fishermen go. That's a school. So quaint. Actually, not that quaint. It's pretty big. behind these houses. There's a whole other hill over there. I thought I thought it was basically water. I guess not.
Ooh, look at that. I'll uh, just go for a ride, sorry. Yeah, park over there. Gotcha. So this is the end, uh, obviously where ferries get in here. Um, oh. Leave it, leave it, leave it. I guess highly trafficked area. This, oh, I see. I get. I get it. So that's got it. So cars go in there in those in those lanes and then load on the boat. That's why. So that's the ferry for cars. And then over here is where you can just park and then you can walk around and do whatever. Park. And then this is a different loading area. What's down there? No, hold on. You're not. Residential over here. Oh, that's cool. A little gazebo on the side. <laughs> wow. Wow. These are gorgeous houses, oh man. Oh, oh. hello. Jeez. snake crazy that's so pretty very jealous at the moment <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Just a random rock. Ta -da. Well, this is literally the furthest on this island that you can go. I don't know what that is. Not 
entirely sure what that is. But that's a lighthouse over there, that tall looking thing. And, uh, I feel like there's a story behind this rock. Well, guys, <laughs> uh, I'm going to just hang out around here. I'm probably going to pull my bike over to the side and then just post up on this rock. Enjoy the sounds of the water. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Bike looks good like that.